take 47. Hey, how's it going? My name is really Preston dark. Callahan, owner of Callahan Automotive. I'll have to take you a little tour in our shop. It's really dark. Here's our waiting room area. We have some leather, leather couches over there. We just added in there about six months ago. Um, front counter. My office is back in the back. A little bit disorganized, but we try to keep it as clean and presentable as we can. Uh, we'll come out to the shop and do a little tour out there. So here's our, here's our parts area. Um, definitely cluttered. This is one of the biggest issues we have in the shop. area back here eventually we want to build actually a parts area um, but that mix between time money and time and you know back and forth haven't really got there yet so hopefully we get that under control here soon uh, right here is our tech center this is where we have all our scanners for regular automotive and also big rig diesel and uh, also the, we have one workstation out here for the techs to utilize the full information and print things and those type of things so We do have upstairs. Um, upstairs, this currently isn't utilized, just kind of the storage for whatever the case may be. Uh, haven't really found a good use for it that would be, you know, efficient to use or anything like that. So it's just kind of storage, kind of waste of space. So if you have any ideas, let us know. Uh, back here, this is the tent, this is the tent area. So, not very big, kind of a little bit usable, had two refrigerators, restroom with the shower, um, and the wash sink. Um, you know, we have some good plans and ambitions for this, but uh, again, haven't really got there yet as well. Um, now, now we'll, we'll go ahead and walk through the shop. I know we have John out here working. Uh, we'll, we'll show you a couple, a, couple pro, uh, a couple vehicles that we're working on, a couple projects we're working on, and uh, kind of how we have our equipment and tooling set up. Kind of, kind of a disaster, kind of messy, but uh, this far away. We'll, we'll, uh, we need to keep this far away. Okay, but uh, we'll we'll try the best we can. So. So right here, we utilize this toolbox uh, for all the specialty tools. Um, I don't require my technicians to buy all the specialty tools, so the shop will go ahead and purchase it and buy it for working on jobs. So we try to keep it as organized as we possibly can. The next toolbox next to that's my box. Um, we're, we're, when we get short-handed and uh, and we're over over overflowed with work, um, I am the one that has to come out here and try to help kind of catch up and, and work and keep things afloat. So if you want to take a scan inside the shop, we have four four lifts. Um, all the lists are pretty dilapidated and old. Uh, they were all purchased by Craigslist, trying to keep costs down, but uh, it, it helps us and gets us by. Uh, we don't we don't have any lifts to big enough to lift diesels, and that's one of our our main uh, well one of our our main focuses is bringing in diesel. So we do have to do a lot of it on the ground because we don't have the proper lift for them. But one of these days we're open to to advance up there and, and to be able to get that eventually. Here's one of the projects that we're doing is a, is a Jeep restoration project. Uh, we finally got it to a roller. We have the, the body up there on the, on the lift. Um, it's been, definitely been a process, especially uh, working around the clutter and uh, trying to keep everything controlled and organized. 
Um, and, uh, you know, that's definitely something that we can be, we need a handout here with is, uh, is you know, proper equipment, proper organization, um, storage, you know, those type of things. And, uh, uh, yeah, we, we definitely do a mixture of a little bit of everything, and we'll, we'll show you that even when we get out back. So this is our transmission and engine build and tear down area. Um, when we don't have any, any of these projects going, uh, we just kind of stack it all up there like it is right now. Um, kind of a cluster, kind of, it definitely wastes a lot of time and a lot of money. Uh, but when we have transmissions or we have engines, uh, we go ahead and, and pull everything else out and, and throw it out here so we can at least utilize the bay to tear down and, and clean and build and whatever we got to do over there. So it's not a definitely not a high-end build area, but um, yeah, if we're going to do it in-house, we're going to make the room for it and try to get, do as best we can. Get, get a shot of John working his ass off over here. Say hey, John. Hi. This is stepping out to the back of the shop. Um, right here is this where we have our air compressors. Um, air compressors at. Um, definitely, de definitely don't have a good enough cover. As you can see, see one of the compressors, or uh, they just keep getting rusted out, and we just have to keep replacing it. But uh, um, and then we have the oil drums over here for all the old oil and coolant. And uh, we try to keep it maintained as best we can. I mean, when we work on semi trucks, we're draining 13 gallons of oil at a time, so you know. We have to have the proper storage containers to be able to handle that oil, um, and uh, hopefully here soon we can start doing more oil changes on regular vehicles. Um, and uh, but right now our efficiency isn't there to be able to do the in and out type of service. So, but we're we're working on it. Hopefully, working with you guys, we can we can get there. Um, we'll step out here a little bit so you can get a good shot of the back. Now, if you scan back here, we have everything from a semi truck. You don't want to get in the shade, you probably right in the sun. We have a semi truck yeah, and a camp. military you, truck you, back you, there. There. <laughs> yeah, I'm Nothing. blasting on the sun now. There we go. So if you scan the back, you can see we have some semi trucks back here, um, other vehicles that were left here. Um, my personal truck stuck in the corner, had, you know, that. Haven't had a chance to work on it. We've been my priority is keeping the keeping the business alive and, and, and employees paid. Um, you know, mix um, back here. A lot of a lot of dreams back here. We, we, I would love to build out um, a cement slab out here to extend onto the work phase, so we have more things in service at at one given time. And uh, um, but again, we haven't got there yet. So we have a lot of vehicles that were dropped to us. Um, our process isn't quite there, our efficiency isn't there, so they, this is kind of the forgotten lot back here. So we're starting to work on that a little bit, um, and that's a little nickel tour of our, our facility. And uh, oh, if you want to scan over here, just, just show all, all the stuff that we work on. So we do do emergency roadside and repairs for U-Haul, um, and also we have quite a few tow companies. We have a lot of medium duty trucks. We have a bus that got towed in yesterday. We have a box truck on the bay. Um, also mixed with a bunch of other smaller cars and, and regular repairs and projects. So, um, like I said, we, 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 work, we work on a little bit of everything at, at, at one given time. So, um, again, thanks for watching. That's a tour of uh, Callahan Auto and Diesel. And I hope you like it. Thank you very much.